all living things have a kind of glimmer of feeling or sensation. Life itself may well have begun in the sea. The most interesting inventions in the history of animals, eyes, nervous systems, brains, the ability to do things with your limbs and body are products of evolution in the sea. Evolution has tuned or shaped the behavioural repertoire that the animal has. All animals are, in a very broad sense of the term, trying to get things done. starfish, they're behaviorally simpler, they have a more distributed nervous system, a nervous system that has less centralization. So I would be inclined to think animals like starfish, they're rather questionable candidates for having any kind of feeling at all. But it would be a mistake to be too confident. Which animals are such that it feels like something to be that animal? Which animals experience their lives rather than just have things happen to them and have processes go on inside them? Does it feel like anything at all to be a starfish? What would it be the thing that starfish would have if they had a little glimmer of felt sensation? If, if there was something it feels like to be a starfish? So, where I'm going with the molecule thing, if your brain is entirely made up of atoms, the idea that you have free will implies that in some way you have some sort of consciousness that can influence the laws of physics. There's no reason to assume that we have choice other than your conscious experience. You're just along for the fucking ride more than anything else. Man. Sisters uh, do not have a brain, they have a very simple uh, nervous system that can detect changes in their environment, but they have no brain, no conscious. Uh, what has happened in the last decades is that there has been these outbreaks. There has been a lot of research about how to control them and um, at the beginning management was really people were just chopping them in pieces and then the pieces behind pieces became new sisters and then just made the problem worse. That is more kind of a lucky thing than a strategy for them, right? I don't think animals have a choice. So usually they're larvae and their eggs are usually um, moved by currents. So I don't think there's any decision in whether a starfish will end up here or in a different place. A lot of times it's just pure luck. When trying to work out what's going on inside other animals, we have a habit of assuming it has to either match what's going on inside us or not be anything at all. That, I assume, is a problem, you know, or a mistake of, of some sort. It's a living thing with a history, with a way of dealing with the world. I think that in the future, we should have some way of uh, knowing what to look for in them that need not be similar to what's in us.